So 2020 has finally come to a close, and I'm sure for a lot of you that's a really great thing. I'm not going to sit here and complain and do the whole woe is me thing about that, mostly because I'd rather talk about the positive aspects, the things that have happened in 2020 for the Accusation Network, which is the channel, of course, that you're watching right now. So I'm going to do a brief rundown of some highlights and some other things as well. You should stick around. So 2020 started with the usual vinyl tag video. Vinyl tags, in case you don't know, are videos that go around in the vinyl community. They're usually started by one VC member. And it's a bunch of questions. It's a typical thread response video in a lot of ways. So I'll probably be doing one in 2021, no doubt. Take a look for that. Um, I started the 2020 that way. Uh, I also started with the 12th episode of the Vinyl Reacquisition Project. And yes, I'm still doing VRP. I'm just not doing it once a month anymore. But I am working on episodes. You'll see those throughout 2021. So there you go. Early in 2020 is also when I started doing videos for the Metalhead Box and continue to do videos for them as well. In case you don't know, in case this is your first time here at the channel, uh, the Metalhead Box is a monthly subscription box service. They release cool metal stuff every month. Uh, they do CDs, they do cassettes, they do vinyl. Uh, if you want more information on that, you should go to themetalheadbox.com. Check out their stuff. You should definitely do it. And yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot more of those videos in the coming year. So stick around for that. February of 2020 brought in my first episode of Vinyl Hall, the first installment of it, of course. Uh, I shot that in the desert, uh, the New Mexico desert to be precise. Um, I'm going to be doing more of those, of course. Uh, the show started out as a bit of a show and tell kind of a thing, but I got bored with that format and I wanted to talk more about the albums and the bands and the history stuff. So that made it into other episodes of Vinyl Hall, and I think I'm better for it. I think the show's the better for it, and it's one of the most watched shows on the Accusation Network. So if you haven't seen it before, you should check it out. And in fact, I'm going to say that a bunch of times. You should check it out. February also included my most watched video ever. It's the top 10 most expensive albums in my collection. Uh, that one hit about 9,000 views so far, so it's done pretty well. If you haven't seen it, see it, but yeah, it's a good one. Of course, this is also the year when Record Store Day was first canceled, then moved, then moved again and divided up. And I guess that reflects the chaos of the times. Uh, I did do a special, of course, on the Record Store Day events, all four of them. Uh, you should check that out. Uh, all the purchases I did for those. Uh, good video. I guess through all the chaos, I got a good video out of it. So there you go. I did a few response videos in 2020 as well. First of all, I did the 50 album challenge for Frank from Channel 33 RPM, obviously. I also did thread response videos for The Rock Scout, The Death Doom Metalhead, and Medal of Honor. You should check all four of those channels out on YouTube, by the way. They're great channels if you're into vinyl or music community stuff. Definitely. Later in the year, I also took a look at some vinyl reissue collections that came out uh, from Death and King Diamond. And I also did Earache Records special because they reissued some Peel Sessions stuff that was pretty cool. Check that out if interested. In August, I premiered another new show. This was Upcoming Metal Vinyl, which is much like it sounds. Uh, good show. I get a lot of good feedback from it, but I get a lot of input, too. I get a lot of viewers who suggest releases that I missed, which is really helpful, and I would encourage you to continue to do that because that shows a lot of work. But I love that show. Uh, one of the motivators for me is that I, too, have those release dates so that I know them and I can go after them. So it's kind of funny. I use my own video videos like other people do just to keep track of all sorts of information so check that show out if interested uh, if you're buying vinyl and you want to know the bands that are coming up with the new releases you should definitely check into it so in September I put out another new show this is do I still hate it what I do is I pick a classic album a classic metal album and then try to see how I feel about it now you know and as a teenager in my 20s I probably hated it but I'm older and maybe I have more perspective I, who knows maybe my tastes are better or whatever so that's what I do with that show um, I did two episodes so far I did one on Judas Priest's Turbo and the other one on Slayer's uh, Diablos and Musica and in 2021 I'm planning on doing a whole lot of others I definitely have a lot of plans for that show um, I love that show it's a it's a fun thing to do and it seems to be getting some good viewer response so there you go 
course, we lost some truly great people in 2020 in and around hard rock and heavy metal. There was producer Martin Birch. Uh, of course, I did a little tribute to him on the channel when he died. You can check that out. Also, Pete Way, uh, Fast Way and Wasted. Uh, we lost Eddie Van Halen, of course. Also, Frankie Benali of Quiet Riot. Lee Kirkslake, formerly of Ozzy, but he was in a lot of other bands. And, of course, Riley Gale of Power Trip. All people that are going to be really missed. And, of course, this is always an opportunity to recognize the fact that your life is short. I know mine is. And you got to do some stuff with your life. You know, you got to be happy and all of that. You know, I feel motivated by my own impending mortality, for sure. You know, I want to make the most out of life. And maybe you do, too. Maybe you have family. Maybe you have career. Maybe you do YouTube channel. I don't know. But, you know, appreciate it, I think is really what I'm trying to say. And speaking of the future, I have a lot of great plans for 2021 and the Accusation Network YouTube channel. Um, a lot of that's covered at my Patreon page. In case you haven't been there, it's patreon.com slash the Accusation Network. I have a lot of exclusive content there. I also do early release videos and some other fun stuff. You should definitely go to the website and check out the reward tiers, see how you can contribute. Maybe you want to support what I do. I know that'd be a great thing. I always appreciate that quite a bit. So definitely go there, check out the content. So to get closer to wrapping up this video, I just wanted to thank all of you, the viewers, those who watch my videos, those who like them, who share them, who comment in them, people who've subscribed to this channel, which if you haven't already done that, you should, and all of that. So yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. I appreciate it heavily. It's the reason I do this channel, is folks like you, folks who love metal, folks who collect vinyl, folks who collect metal vinyl. So I definitely appreciate it. And again, you are the reason I do it. Well, okay, I do it also because it's a lot of fun, but you're in the mix too. So here's to another great year of making the best videos I can for all of you. Take care and ever forward. <laughs>